abduction, scapular abduction and upward rotation. Okay, so with this one, it is um, also altered scale. So I want to make sure his feet are on the ground, which he's good, and he's solid. So Eric, the action I want you to do is, I'm just going to have you raise your arm to right here for me. So we're going to about 120, 125 degrees. Can you do that for me? Good. And we're watching right here to just make sure that he's not turning his body or anything. We're kind of leaning back and that the scapula is rotating as it comes up. Okay. Since this is altered scale, um, um, oh, well, let's do the resistance first. Sorry. So he's going to lift up and so Eric, I'm, now that you're in this position, I want you to hold that for me and I'm going to try and push him down here and I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder blade here along the lateral border and I'm going to try and rotate him in and push down at the same time. So ready? I want you to resist me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Good. So he's basically a five. Um, I'm going to talk to him. And, but if he wasn't able to go all the way up, because it's altered scale, so if he only got to 100 or 90 degrees, he would be a 2. Anything other than that would be a 1. And I would have to palpate, um, this is the weird one. So I have to kind of reach under his scapula. And along those ribs and so I'm not going right under the scapula I'm just kind of going in front or anterior to it and I'm going to try and feel for along those ribs him yep and I can feel it so he would be a one um, if not so that's scapular um, abduction and upward rotation abduction and upward